Post-COVID, what is the paper market situation? Please review. The situation after the post-COVID was, uh, I mean, very tight and the prices were going very high and they have reached to a, high, a certain high level, you know. Now the correction is taking place. Uh, and for the long run, the paper prices are going to be up. But maybe temporarily there is some slowdown and uh, there, there is some, some corrections in the market happening now. Do you think the slowdown in economy due to COVID is over? If not, then how long it will take to get over? See, like earlier we were thinking that the slowdown is over now because the market was booming and the demands were high. But now recently because of the China uh, COVID issue, uh, the, the market is still, I mean, uh, uh, coming down, you know. So, so that's why the uh, market is very unpredictable now. If we look at the at the China situation, the the market seems downward. But if you look the other side, you know the market is good. How do you analyze the current waste paper market scenario? Market uh, situation for the waste paper in the long run is going to be very good because uh, because there there is lot of uh, deficit of the pulp. So it's going to be good, but temporary the situation is not uh, I mean comfortable for the waste. How do you see the pricing of waste paper in coming time? See, long run the pay waste paper prices are going to be up for sure. But the temporary the market is going down. I think maybe it's a matter of time, you know, another maybe, you know, actually it depends upon the, the situation of the finished product, you know, if the finished product market goes up, the price of waste also goes up. So now the because of the finished prices are less now. So because of that, you know, there is a temporary slowdown of the waste paper pricing. India is a fiber deficient country and to meet the demand, waste paper is imported. How do you suggest the way by which the fiber deficiency can be removed or minimized? No, like, like in the brown, there will not be much fiber de deficiency because the production is high and uh, the consumption is also very high. But the deficit is for the white and the other grey newsprint. But anyway, the demand is also not uh, going up, you know, for the newsprint and uh, uh, all those grades. So I think it will uh, match, you know, it will... Okay. Uh -huh. During COVID, what paper production trends did you see? And after COVID, what changes you have seen? I, I think the packaging growth is there, you know, after the COVID and during the COVID also, there, there is a lot of growth in the packaging paper because of FMCG and the other things. And the newsprint is going very slow, you know, for the past two years. Uh, I don't think that there is a long-term future for the newsprint paper. But the demand for the writing printing, if you see overseas, it's not picking up much. Like, but for the developing countries like India and other countries, where the education and uh, for the other things, uh, the demand is going to be there for sure. Due to single-use plastic ban, what appreciation in paper demand do you see? Yes, there will be huge demand because of the plastic uh, ban and the packaging paper and other grades, the requirement will be high and the production and the demand will be more. What raw materials do you offer to the paper mills? We are offering all grades of paper. Eh? We are offering newsprint paper, writing printing paper, packaging paper. We are doing a lot of exports from India. And we have an office in Dubai. So from there we have been doing cross trading. Like we have been buying from uh, second country and buying to the third country. Other than Dubai and India. As the newsprint segment is in challenging phase. So what future scenario of newsprint do you see? Uh, see, I don't think there is much future for the newsprint industry, and that's why you know most of the foreign mills now they they have shifted from the package to from newsprint to the packaging paper and other grades. Like uh, during the peak, the newsprint requirement in India was 25 lakh ton. So slowly it's coming down. You know, the, it it came uh, to 18 lakhs, then to the 12 lakhs. I think now it's only 10, 12 lakhs. And maybe I see that in maybe in another four, five years, the consumption will be 50% of this quantity. Thank you, sir. Thank you.